Ray tracing is a physically accurate 3D rendering technique where an image is slowly pieced together by casting rays for each pixel and using the hit information to decide on the color of the image. To summarize the technique, shoot ray, draw pixel, shoot ray, draw pixel. If we shoot more rays, we draw more pixels, and with more pixels our image gets clearer. To add some 3 dimensionality, we can shade our sphere according to its surface normals, or the outward direction from the center of our sphere. Just for fun, we can add more spheres and a very large sphere for the ground. Taking a closer look at our sphere, we notice some very sharp edges. We can smooth these edges using anti-aliasing, where multiple rays are cast to sample for each pixel. Their colors are then averaged, and this allows for our edges to blend with the backdrop. To add some real shading, we can make our rays bounce in a random direction, away from their collision points until they no longer intersect anything. Each time the ray bounces, we multiply its final color by a reflectance value, and this allows us to create what is known as a diffuse material. Then, to make the shading more accurate, we can bounce our ray while keeping the surface normal of the the sphere in mind, a more uniform ray distribution known as a Lambertian distribution. Afterwards, to better simulate what the human eye can actually see, we can convert our color values from linear to gamma space by taking the square root of our color values. The ramp up of different reflectance values is now a lot more consistent. Finally, to add reflection, we change the way our ray bounces on reflective materials to be predictable and not random, sort of how a pong ball bounces. We can use some linear algebra to find this reflected vector, which cannot be random or reflections will appear distorted. Then, by additionally multiplying by the color of the surface each time our ray bounces, we can now render colorful diffuse and reflective spheres. This concludes our basic ray tracer. I hope this little introduction to ray tracing was able to entertain or be useful to you in some way. It would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like and subscribe button. It's free and helps motivate me to create more videos. If you have questions or something to say about the video, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video.